I recently did a video where I organized everything in my bathroom closet and that was me going through and getting rid of old hair care, body care, skincare products, reorganizing everything and then putting it all nicely back into an armoire that I have in our bathroom. And in that video I mentioned that I don't really have a great organization set up for my clothing either. It's kind of just in different parts of my house. It got even more disorganized whenever we moved. And now I have a ton of clothing that I have not seen in a long time. And they are just clothes that I've accumulated over the years that don't really make sense with my lifestyle or with my personal style. And I have in the past fallen prey to the fantasy self type of purchases where I buy clothes that don't necessarily make sense for me right now, but are clothes that I would wear if I was a slightly elevated version of myself or if I was living a different, slightly better lifestyle than the one that I have. And that's not practical and it's not helpful. I'm gonna start with my coats because they are taking up the most room in this closet. And the ones that I keep, I can move over to the coat closet. And I have some baskets in front of me. One of them will be my pass on. So clothing that is still in good condition that I can either donate or give away to someone who I think it would work really well for. And then this one will be, I don't know exactly what to call it, but I do know I have some pieces in here that I either need to mend something or I have a lot of sweaters that have pilled up that they just need to go over with like a pumice stone or something to clean them up and then I can start wearing them again. And so they like need a little bit of work. Some things I think just need to be scrapped altogether. So that's gonna be this pile. Like I need to do something with it before either keeping it or moving it on. And then I do have a dresser full of clothes as well and I will go through those, but I'll do that separately. So let's tackle these coats. I do have a beautiful long burnt orange coat here. This was actually handmade by one of my aunts. Um, probably 40 or 50 years ago and my mom gifted it to me because she knows I love long fancy coats like this and it's just beautiful it's an heirloom it's incredibly special to me and to my family I did talk about this a little bit more and the history behind it in an Instagram post uh, probably <laughs> over a year ago and so I'll definitely be keeping this but I will move it to the coat closet another coat I really love this is a really great winter coat I live in Pennsylvania we get very very cold winters and I got this as a Christmas present from my parents last year I'm pretty sure they got it from Costco but the brand is Andrew Mark and it's just a really great puffy burgundy coat I wear all the time. Love it, definitely keeping. Another one I wear all the time, I got this from a Tommy Hilfiger outlet several years ago. It's a great coat for whenever it rains because it's water resistant and it has a hood. And I just really love that it's like this dark green and then it has navy blue and gold accents. And I wear it all the time. I just wore it yesterday while I was running errands. So definitely keeping this one. Another one I'm keeping is this beautiful red pea coat. This is from Anne Klein and my mom bought it for me I think from a consignment store or a thrift store when I was in high school or when I was in college. And at the time I really wasn't wearing stuff like this. I definitely wasn't wearing bright colors. And so I, I guess I just, I sort of expressed that I didn't really want it or like it. And she was like, you know, just put it away. I know someday you will need this. This will come in handy. It's a really high quality coat and you will find reasons to wear it. And she's right. I do wear it all the time. I love it. I don't even wear red that often, but it's just a beautiful, a uh, very well-made coat that keeps me nice and warm and it fits me perfectly. It was a really great find and so I am gonna keep this. Mom, you were right. Teenage Natasha wouldn't have believed you. And then this one is actually my husband's coat. It shouldn't be in here. So I'm going to take this and those other coats that I said I'm keeping and I'm gonna move them over to our coat closet. Now let's talk about some coats that I am going to be passing on. This first one here is a gray shorter coat and it's one that I've worn a lot. I've worn it over the years. I don't like how short it is. Like if I'm gonna go, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense for the type of outfits that I wear anymore, but it is perfectly good and I wore it for a long time. So I am gonna pass this along. And this coat here, unfortunately, I am also gonna pass it on. It's from Nine West and it's in the size two. And I purchased this when I was in college and it's a really beautiful black coat. It's got some ruffles. It was a great coat that I wore a lot whenever I needed to be a little bit more dressed up. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit me anymore. It's really tight in the arms, but this is still perfectly good, so I am gonna pass this on. And that one's a sad one. I definitely feel a gap in my coat collection where I have like a green dress or something where I can't really wear that red coat with, 
and I don't have anything like dressy enough to work with it. So I did purchase another Anne Klein coat from ThreadUp recently. It hasn't come in the mail yet, so I don't know if it's exactly right just yet, but a black trench coat is definitely something that I'm missing from my coat collection from my from my wardrobe and so i do plan on replacing that one very soon another jacket i think i can pass on is this longer green jacket this one is definitely more of a rain jacket it's very thin i think it's meant to be something that you can like scrunch up into a really small size and use it for traveling and stuff um, but if i'm gonna wear a green rain jacket i'm gonna use the one from Tommy Phil Hill figure that I have, not this one. So I'm going to pass this one on. I've barely worn it. This is an Eddie Bauer jacket. I think I also got this as a Christmas present a couple of years ago. And this is, again, it's kind of like that jacket where you can scrunch it up to make it really small if you want it. And this is really good. It's insulated and it keeps you really warm. And if I'm gonna need something that's like travel friendly that I can use to keep myself from getting too wet, um, during rainstorms and stuff, I can reach for this one. So I don't have any more jackets to talk about, but I did want to talk about this really quickly. This top I purchased at the same time as when I purchased that really beautiful black coat that I'm passing on. This also doesn't fit me anymore. This is from Jones, New York. It's a really beautiful top, um, but it just doesn't fit me anymore. So I'm going to pass it on. Now that we're done with coats, I think I might do one sweep through where I pull out pieces that I know I'm going to pass on or get rid of and then we can kind of try to break it into categories. I'm not really sure. There's nothing about this that's organized in any way, so I'll figure it out. So this is a dress um, that I purchased a long time ago. It's kind of like one of those goddess dresses. I wore the same dress in white for my engagement photo shoot, and that one was a different size. I purchased that one and it fit me better. And then my mom did hem the bottom so that it met right at my feet and it wasn't too long. This does not fit me at all. I've never worn it. It's a beautiful piece. I just, I don't see myself ever wearing it. Also this like super pale pink color looks horrendous on me. It is not my color at all. So definitely gonna pass this one on. This is a really soft old navy top and I love this color. This like darker teal green is like one of my favorite colors to wear when I do wear color. And so I am gonna keep this. This one, however, is a t-shirt that I bought forever ago. And I used to love it. I wore it in, I think, my very first Project Pan video that I ever did back in 2017. And I do love these types of colors, but if you can see the stripes are very worn down, the shirt is way too old, it needs to go. And if I do wanna wear a slouchy, comfortable top, I can wear this one and they kind of serve the same purpose. Okay. I don't know what got into me, but for some reason, I purchased a bunch of jumpsuits. I bought two of them from Old Navy. So I have two of the same jumpsuit from Old Navy. Yeah, the mob one is too big for me. Also, I don't like this color on me, especially all over my body like that. It's not flattering. So I'm gonna pass this one on. This one, I'm not sure. I think I will keep it and I'll use this. I'll like actually try it on and see if it fits me. I do want to do a series where I show you like my favorite outfits or like how I put together special pieces. I don't really have it fully formulated yet, but I do want to talk about like building outfits and going through my clothes. Like some of them, I'm just not sure. I haven't worn it in so long that I don't really even remember what it looks like on me. And I do have one picture of me wearing this and I look really cute but it just needed to be styled a certain way. And I haven't actually worn it out of the house yet. One thing I do like to wear to the office um, is a cardigan over a tank top. Like I'll wear something like this and then wear a cardigan over it to kind of stay warm. But I just love it. I got it from Zara forever ago. I love this dark green color. This top here is from Banana Republic. It's really soft and comfortable, but it's very long. And I'll be honest, whenever I wear it, I feel a bit frumpy. Like it's, it's long enough that you could wear it over leggings, but that's just not really the way I want to dress anymore. So even though this is really nice and comfortable, it's not something that I reach for ever, really ever. Um, I have way more comfortable outfits that I feel cuter and better in, and so I am gonna pass this one on. And I think I might have another one in blue. I can't find it right now, but I'll revisit it once I find it. This is another H&M purchase, and I like this one. It's a burgundy, very similar to what I'm wearing now, but it's more shiny and it has a really beautiful gold zipper. The wrists are super, super tight though. And so anytime I do reach for it and I put it on when I'm wearing something, 
I end up switching it out with something else because I know it's gonna be uncomfortable throughout the rest of the day. So I am gonna pass this one on. It just doesn't fit me like it used to. Fantasy Self Purchase. This is from, I think the brand's called Halara. Some fitness person that I follow on Twitter mentioned how cute the tops were and they looked great on the models. They looked just okay on me, but I've only worn them once. And this is something that I would work out in. And so it's definitely something I can use, but I was more purchasing it to like make a cute outfit. And I don't think that's for me, but for working out in, I can definitely wear it. This color, as much as I love this type of color, and I wear this a lot like in makeup, it doesn't actually look that good on me, especially whenever it's like such a big part of my outfit and covers so much of my body. So I will keep this exclusively for working out. I am not entirely sure where I got this from. The brand is Land's End, and this is a bright red long sleeve sweatshirt, and I don't like this color on me. I don't think that this is a flattering color at all, so I'm going to pass it on. This is a dress that I purchased. I don't know where I got it from, but um, I really liked it for a while. I wore it, but I've had it for probably seven years, and I used to wear it, but it doesn't fit me anymore, so I'm gonna pass this on. This is like a cheap top that I bought from like a fast fashion website years and years ago, and I did wear it a little bit, but again, these sorts of really light pinks aren't very flattering on me, and it's just, it's very not well made, like it doesn't look nice, and so I am gonna pass it on. I do have a couple others like this that I will pass on as we go through. This is a dress that I purchased from Amazon forever ago. My friend Julie bought one, I think in black, and she really loved it and she recommended it, so I bought one too. I have worn it a couple of times, but I don't really love dresses that are long, that have short sleeves like this. I prefer dresses that have a long sleeve or they don't have any sleeve and then I can wear like something over them. But I do like the color and I do like the way it fits me and everything, so I'm gonna hold on to it and I'm going to put it next to that olive green jumpsuit where I'm gonna try it on and see if it really is something that I think is worth keeping. So those are like the maybe pile. <laughs> I have just only recently realized that this bright red is not something I like to wear. Um, this is not a very well-fitting bathing suit and it's in a color that I don't love. And I have lots of other bathing suits that I prefer over this, so I'm gonna pass on this one as well. Here is another one of those like cheap button-ups that I purchased from that fast fashion website. And even though I do like the color a lot better than I like the other one, I definitely prefer the quality of the one that I'm wearing and so I will pass this one on. This sweater I'm a bit torn because I do really love it. I love color blocking sweaters and this is, yeah, I think I got it from H&M. Um, but the thing is, this white part of the sweater is starting to get really dingy, and I don't know how to clean it and like make this part white again without affecting the rest of the sweater, but I don't wanna just give up on it for that reason. There's gotta be some sort of like hack, or you know, maybe I wash it, soak it in white vinegar or something first, and it won't impact the other two colors or make it bleed into the white. Like there's gotta be a way to salvage that, so I'm gonna put that in my I don't know, what would you call it? Like project bucket where <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something to it to salvage it. Th yeah, it'll be my salvage bucket. Ooh, this is a band tee from one of my favorite bands, Caravan Palace. I will absolutely be keeping this. Okay, I have some pants here. You'll find that I have like very few pants and then a ton of tops and dresses. So it's two pairs of pants on the same hanger. This is a pair of pants from Old Navy and they are like a burgundy corduroy. I wore them once to work, and I don't know if it was the top I wore it with, but I didn't really love it. But I do like these pants, and they're very comfortable and soft. So uh, this will be in the maybe pile. And then the other side is a pair of like fake leather leggings. I've had them for forever, and I have worn them a couple times. I haven't had any real reason to wear them lately, but I have seen some like outfits from other people on Instagram and on Pinterest and stuff where they wear something like this. So I'd like to hold on to it. These are both gonna be in my maybe pile. This is a bodysuit. <laughs> and this is a really nice top. Like it's got like a really beautiful neckline that I can either wear it up around my shoulders or I can push it down and have it be off the shoulder. This bottom part is a little thick though. Like the, the lines around it are really thick material. And so I can't really wear them with tight pants or anything because you can definitely see them through my pants but I can still wear them with skirts. I just, I don't have any specific idea of how I'd wanna wear these just yet. And I could wear them with like these types of jeans that are thicker and a little bit looser. And so I don't wanna get rid of this just yet. 
again, it's gonna go in the baby pile. A couple more fantasy self things. This is like, <laughs> it's a top that's like barely held together with anything, but it looked so cute on the model that I had to try it. And I still do kind of want to try it. I just want to try it. Um, so I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. And then this is another Halara top that I purchased. It's like a sports top that has like a bra built in. And I, I don't know. I, I don't really love stark white on me. I don't think that's a very flattering color for me personally. But this is something that I could wear while working out. So I'll keep it and I'll use it just like I'll use that other top from Halara that I bought. It won't be like an outfit, but it will be something that's practical. And who knows, maybe if I'm going to play tennis and I want to be like extra cute, I can use that top. Okay, so this is just a plain beige sweater. It's shapeless. It's not even that cozy of a fabric. It's a little bit more of a scratchy fabric. I am not going to reach for this over the other cream neutral colored sweaters that I have. So I'm going to pass this one on. I did wear it a lot for some time, but since then I've purchased other light tan sweaters that I prefer. Okay, this one is a sweater that my brother-in-law gave me for Christmas last year, and it's from Presque which is a really beautiful part of Erie, Pennsylvania. If you ever find yourself in that region, I definitely recommend going to Presque Isle. It's a really beautiful beach and just a beautiful area in general, and it's a little bit more dingy than it used to be, and so even though it's super soft and comfortable, I don't wear it that often anymore, but I would like to see, again, if there's some way that I can wash it to kind of bring, take out that dinginess, take out that tint, that whatever changed the color of the sweater. So that's gonna go in my salvage pile. This is a top that I've worn a couple times in my videos. Uh, this is like from a cheap fast, fast fashion website and I don't really wear this outside of the house because it's practically see-through and there's like nothing to it. It's cute to wear while filming, but it doesn't really have any other value outside of that. So I'm going to put it in the maybe pal because it is cute. It's cute for photos and stuff, but it's not like a practical actually wear it as an outfit type of piece of clothing. Ooh, I love this dress so much. So I purchased this from Macy's and I bought it and wore it to my bridal shower. Was that last year or two years ago? I think it was last year. <laughs> and I love this. This is so pretty. I love floral patterns. I love flowers and I just think this is such a beautiful shape. I think it's super flattering on me and I definitely will be keeping this. I think it's beautiful and I think I got it on sale for like $50 and it's incredibly well made. It's got like a beautiful layer of tulle underneath and so when you put it on it gets extra poofy at the bottom. Beautiful. This here is a purchase from a fast fashion website and the top part fits me like only okay, but the bottom part, like the actual skirt part is gorgeous. So anytime I wear this, I wear a different top over it and then I wear it as if it's a skirt and I love it. I think it's beautiful. So definitely keeping that even though it wasn't exactly what I intended it to be originally. This is a robe that has my initials on it and it was a gift that a friend of mine gave everyone in the bridal party as a bridal gift and I love it. I think it's so beautiful. I love this color. I think it's such a flattering color and it's got my initials on it. I love it. So definitely keeping this. Thanks, Kate. Along the same vein, I do have this robe that I purchased for all of my bridesmaids for my wedding and I bought like a light pink version for all of them. No, I had a light pink version for my matron of honor and then I bought burgundy versions of these for all of my bridesmaids and for the mothers mother of the groom and mother of the bride. And then I purchased a white version for myself. I loved wearing this on my wedding day while I was getting ready. It's a beautiful memory. I'm glad I had it. I'm glad I had matching sets with everyone that I got ready with, but I don't really need it anymore. And I do have other robes that I can wear instead. So I'm going to include this as part of an engagement gift for whichever one of my friends gets married next. I will give this to them and they can wear it while they get ready for their wedding. This is from Victoria's Secret. And for a long time, Victoria's Secret would sell stuff specifically for whatever college you went to. And I went to Penn State and I purchased this really cute cropped sort of jersey top. And I still wear this whenever I go to like games with, you know, our college friends or we have any like reunions when we all get together and watch the game together. I'm not like a big sports fan, but I do like it. <laughs> I do love this top. I don't wear it all the time, but I do have specific 
occasions where I do wear it. So definitely gonna keep this, not like an everyday staple by any means, but still fun to have. I have this beautiful scarf here, and I think I got this from Amazon forever ago, but I love when things have like a really dark background, like a black or a navy blue, and then it has like really intricate either floral patterns or other like beautiful intricate patterns on it. That's like one of my favorite designs. And so while I don't have like a specific occasion that I would wear this for, I would like to hold on to it and maybe hang it up in a nicer way so that it's a lot more visible. And that way, if I do have a need for like a beautiful scarf to like add to my purse or I don't know. And this is a fantasy self product that I would like to keep. My mom has a lot more experience with beautiful scarves. So maybe I'll ask her to help me style this. So this is an Ann Taylor dress that I purchased, I think just from the Ann Taylor website. I needed it to wear to a shower. Like I didn't have any nice dresses to wear for like a summer event. And so I purchased this and I do really love it. This color isn't maybe the most flattering on me personally, but I still really love it. Like I don't really have a lot of bright pops of color like that. And so when I do have a little bit more of a tan, I can pull this off and it does have a belt that goes with it somewhere. So it's got a really nice shape. It's very flattering. And I really love the material. I love the collar. I love how the sleeves are. I just really like this dress a lot. So even though I don't wear it a ton, I do still want to hold on to it. Does anybody else do this where you have like seven different articles of clothing, but they're all on one hanger? This is like a sheer see-through bomber jacket. And like I said, I love patterns that are dark and then have like a light floral pop. I could see myself wearing this to like a concert or you know, something. I, I used to wear this all the time when I would go out and just cause I don't go out as much anymore doesn't mean I'll never go out again. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. And then for everything that was hanging on to it, I have a plain white tank top. I will keep that, it's a staple. And then I have this romper here. And honestly, I don't ever wear this. I don't think that this is like a pattern. I really like to wear that often. So I will pass this one on. And then this top here, this is like a scalloped cami. And I do wear this often, like in the summertime, I usually tuck it into something cause it is a little bit big, but I really love this color. And even though it is kind of like a cheap tank top that I bought from a fast fashion website, I still would like to hold on to it. And instead of piling a bunch of them onto one hanger, I'm gonna give them each their own individual hanger. Here's another multiple pieces on one hanger. So one of these, is a dress that I used to love wearing. I know I wore it all the time. This is from Kohl's and it's like a polka dot dress and I love the shape of it. It's got like an off the shoulder thing. It ties in the center so it has a really nice waist emphasis. Unfortunately, this just doesn't fit me anymore. I don't know if it shrunk or if I got bigger, <laughs> probably both, but yeah, it just doesn't fit anymore even though I loved it once upon a time. So I'm gonna pass that one on let somebody else enjoy it. The other top that was on that hanger is this silk top. This was a gift from either one of my aunts or from my mom, and it is a beautiful silky top. I don't wear it all the time, but it is really beautiful. I've worn it in like photos and stuff. I've been really getting into these like satiny, sometimes velvety fabrics. I just think they're so nice. And then the third thing that was hanging on that is this giant red tulle dress that I purchased from Amazon. I don't really know where I would wear this. And like I said, this type of color is not very flattering on me. So I, I don't even think I've actually worn it, but like, I'm not gonna wear this anywhere. This here, another fast fashion purchase. And it's like a navy blue sort of like jacket, giant card cardigan. Number one, it's enormous. It's way too big for me. And the pattern feels like plastic. It's just not something I'm ever gonna wear. I shouldn't have bought it. This dress is my bridesmaid's dress that I wore to my best friend's wedding last year. And I love this dress. I feel like a goddess in it. It's gorgeous. I will definitely be keeping this. Okay, so this is a top from Express. It's a plain t-shirt, but then it has these little ties. So you can tie it in the back to make it tighter. I don't wear this a ton, but it is really nice. I do like having like a casual top that does give me waist emphasis if I want. So I'm gonna hold on to this and it's really thick. Like it feels like it's really good quality fabric too. Here's that other version of that burgundy top that I was talking about. And again, I just feel a little bit frumpy when I wear it, but I do really like this color. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this one because 
if I'm just going out like in the winter to run errands, like go grocery shopping, I do like thin layering pieces like this. Like I could wear this underneath a warm coat. I could realistically wear this in my life, maybe just for more practical reasons. And I do like this color on me. I think this is a really flattering shade and it's warm. It feels good. I just, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a more casual piece than I had originally intended for it to be, but I will keep it. And then this is a cardigan from H&M. Again, I love having cardigans to kind of put over my shoulders and wear to keep warm in the office, but add a little bit of color to my outfit because I do tend to wear mostly neutrals. This one, the fabric is a little bit stiff, like it's not the most comfortable cardigan, but I do really love this color. So I'm gonna hold on to it and eventually try to purchase something that's maybe better quality and more comfortable that I like to wear more. Okay, so this is a house coat. And I have a couple of these. These were a gift from my aunt and me and her, we love to be comfortable and cozy and warm. And so she always buys me like really comfortable clothes and I love them. I have one that has pink sleeves. It's like the same, except for the sleeves are pink. And I wear these two all the time. Okay, so I have this tank top here, another silky tank top. I love tops like this. However, this does not fit me. It's way too tight. And it's also like weirdly long. Like, I don't know how to show you how long this is, but it goes down to like my middle of my thighs. So it's too long and it doesn't fit me. So I am gonna pass this on. I'm a little torn on this one because even though it is like another blouse that I bought from, I don't remember if it was Boohoo or Sheen, but it was some fast fashion website that I purchased from years and years ago. And I don't like wear this all the time, especially cause it's like a cropped button up but I do love the rose detail and the fabric is much higher quality than the other ones that I talked about. Like this is a really nice version of these tops. So I do kind of want to keep it just because I do love that rose. And I, I do have some crop top options because I do think that's flattering for my body type. I have a really short torso and I do wear a lot of high-waisted pants. And so wearing a cropped jean still helps me show my waist a little bit better. So I am going to hold on to this I have a couple of these button-ups from H&M and I really like them. I like this one because it's like double. There's something in it that keeps it from looking like it pulls at certain spots on my shirt and I like this color. And I don't wear button-ups like all the time. I don't really have to dress up that much for work, but I do like layering this under another sweater that I might have in here. I'm not sure if I do, but I have shown what it looks like. I've worn it in a video a forever ago, so I'll I'll put up a photo of what that looks like, but I do like pairing it with another sweater that I have. So I'm gonna hold on to this. And then this is like a sporty zip up. I wear this like when I go play tennis and stuff like that. So I'm gonna hold on to this one too. And then this is like a striped Tommy Hilfiger top. And this one does get a little bit wrinkly too, but I typically tuck it into whatever pants I'm wearing. So it doesn't matter as much. So I'm gonna hold on to this, but I would like to get like a nicer version of this at some point like maybe something with thicker fabric. I have this robe here and I actually have multiple robes, so I don't necessarily need to keep this one. I think my mom gave this to me whenever I needed a robe and I didn't have one yet. So I think what I'm gonna do is give this back to her and see if she wants to have it again. This is a really comfortable sweater hoodie turtleneck that my mom got for me. Cause she again knows that I love to be warm and cozy and I love it. I use it whenever I'm like really cold and I need to, I need to really stay warm and comfortable. So definitely holding on to this. This dress, however, um, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it. I, I don't like it. I don't like when things have like a drawstring waist like that. And it's just not a flattering cut on me. And the color isn't that great. And it's also kind of see-through. So I'm not going to keep this. And this is from H&M also. This is a sweater from Nine West. I purchased it at Kohl's. And I love it. I love ribbed sweaters. I love when they're more like... I think crew neck would be the term for that type of collar and I love it. I think it's a great sweater and I like that it's a little bit thin so it's really great for layering or just um, for like those fall days where it's cooler in the morning and then it's still kind of warm towards the end of the day. I like it for that time of year especially. This is very similar to what I'm currently wearing but it's jean and unfortunately this doesn't fit me. I think I also got this from Kohl's and I should have gone up a size because it is very tight in the arms. And so I am gonna pass this one on. But I would like to buy a different version of that at some point, just in a bigger size so that I can have more of a loose, comfortable fit. This is a 
um, kind of like cover-up dress that I would wear over a bathing suit and I've had it for years and years. I think I got it from TJ Maxx years ago. I do like this shade of purple on me. I think it's a flattering color and I do specifically wear it over bathing suits like whenever I'm at the pool or at the beach. So I'm gonna hold on to it for that occasion. This is a plain black long sleeve sweatshirt. I don't remember where I bought it or why I bought it, but it is good to have it. It's just like a staple. I can either wear it to bed or I can wear it around the house. I can wear it to layer with other things, so I'm gonna hold on to it. This is an extra large t-shirt I got again from a fast fashion website, and the lashes are kinda cute, but I don't really have any need to wear this, so I'm gonna pass this one on. I have plenty of black t-shirts I can wear instead. Here is another black t-shirt. This one is like a soft, just regular black t-shirt. It's got a little pocket, and yeah, if I need to wear a black t-shirt, I'll wear this one instead. This is a cropped tank top. It's like a looser fit um, t-shirt material and it's from H&M and I love it. I have another one in like an olive green. I don't know where it is exactly, but I'll keep that one too. I like these just for like, you know, casual outfits. This is a dress I purchased from a fast fashion website and it does not fit me very well at all and it feels like plastic. So I'm gonna pass this one on for sure. This is a top I wore in my most recent Partners in Cream update for November, and I do like this color. I like this like dark gray material, but it's still denim. Unfortunately, this dress is too tight. It doesn't fit me anymore, so I am gonna pass it on. And this one I got from Old Navy. All right, I'll try to go a little bit faster because I understand this is gonna be a really long video, but I don't wanna make it too long. I have this gray sweater here, and it's really soft. I love it. It was a gift from my parents. I do love really soft, cozy, warm sweaters. I think this one might have a hole in the sleeve and it also could use some TLC. It's got some pilling and I definitely need to do a little bit more to it to bring it back to life. So I'm gonna put this in my salvage pile, but I'm definitely keeping it. Another cheap top from, I think it was Boohoo, but it might've been Sheen, I'm not sure. So I'm getting rid of that one, don't need it anymore. This was also a dress, I think this was from Boohoo. And I did wear it a couple of times. I did like it, but it's not very good quality. I do have other nicer floral dresses that I can wear instead. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then this is another top that I love wearing, but it wrinkles so incredibly easily that I never wear it because it's just too wrinkly. And I'm not the type of person to iron. Like I said, I don't even own an iron and that's not who I am as a person. Don't tell my mom. I'm gonna pass this one on. This is a dress from Boohoo that I bought years ago and I love it. I wear it all the time. It is such a nice dress. I love the color of this. I love the sleeves. I love that you can wear it sort of as a v-neck, but you can also make it be off the shoulder as well. And I love it. I wear it all the time, at least a couple times a year for like special occasions. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. This is a long sleeve sweater dress. I got this from Express and I really like this as like a winter dress. I can wear it with tights and it's got some cinching, so it kind of comes in at the waist and it's really comfortable and I like it. It's more for like casual events where I don't need to get super dressed up, but I still want to look a little bit like nicer. This is something I bought from Amazon last year. I was going for something. I thought I was going to get really into like that cropped collegiate thing. And ideally I would have wanted to buy a blouse with like sheer white sleeves or sheer cream ivory sleeves to wear under it. This is way too short. It doesn't fit me the way I thought it would. And even though it is really cute and I like the color a lot, every time I wear it, I just don't feel very comfortable in it. So I am gonna pass it on. This is a dress I got from Amazon forever ago. I feel like a lot of people have this dress. Every time I go to a wedding or something, I see at least one other person wearing this exact same dress. They come in a ton of different colors. I really love it. I've worn it a ton over the years and I love velvet. I love this color on me. So I am gonna keep it. This is a tie-dye sweater. I think I also got this from Boohoo forever ago. I don't own a lot of hoodies, but sometimes they are just nice to have. Like if I'm going to a bonfire or something, or I just wanna be warm and cozy around the house. So I don't wear it a ton, I don't wear it all the time, but I do wanna keep it. All right, we've got some pants and skirts to talk about. So this pair of pants is from Old Navy, I think, and I, do really like them, but they get wrinkly so easily. So I have to figure out if that's something I wanna keep. I just like them. They just look so cool and they're high-waisted and yeah, I don't know. They just kind of like, as I'm wearing them, they kind of get 
stretched out. So yeah, I don't know. This is gonna have to go in the maybe. And also these shorts in the back that are on the same hanger. These, I like having green shorts. I just don't wear them that often. And they are really tight. And I have another pair of the exact same in black that I reach for whenever I do want shorts. So I am going to pass on the green shorts. And then these pants, they're gonna stay in my baby pile because I, I really need to figure out if they're worth keeping. This skirt here I bought as part of a Halloween costume last year. I was Regina from Mean Girls. And um, a bunch of my friends were all different people from the movie. But it's enormous. It's like way too big for me to actually wear. But it is a really cute skirt. Like, I don't know. I kind of want to keep it and then see if I can make the waist smaller so that I can wear it. So I'm going to put that in my salvage bucket. And then this is a midi skirt that I bought. And I love the idea of it. Like I have ideas for how to style this in my head. I just haven't had a reason to wear it, but I would like to try to wear it at some point. This cardigan here is a gift from my mom. It's like a Christmas cardigan, if you can see. It has like little Christmas trees on it and stuff. And this is what I wear when I go to like holiday parties. So I'm gonna hold on to this. It's a very specific type of piece of clothing. Like I obviously don't wear it all the time, but I do have reasons for keeping it. And then this other piece of clothing, this was a gift from one of my aunts um, in Italy. And I don't know if they just think I'm braver and cooler than I am, but this just like seems like a really cool top. Like obviously I'd have to wear something underneath it, but I would like to keep it to see if I could style it in a way that I would like. Maybe if I can't make it work, I will pass it on, but I'd like to give it a try. So this is going in the maybe pile. These pants um, I bought from Old Navy last year and they're like a darker teal green blue. And I really like these. Um, I don't wear them all the time because I don't really need to dress up a lot, but I would like to keep them. I think that they're really nice. I have two pairs of pants on this hanger. One of them is the same type of pant shape as the other one that I just showed you, but in an olive green. And this is in a material that's not as good quality as the other one. And I have worn it a few times, but I haven't worn it recently with like some newer pieces or some newer style options that I do. So I would like to keep it and put it in my maybe pile. I do have a pair of pants that I know I'm not keeping. I bought these from Banana Republic and they're brand new. They still have the tag. I rarely ever do that, rarely. But I tried them on, they were too small. I, I don't even know. So I'm, I'm gonna put them in my maybe pile just to try them on, just to see if they fit me. They likely don't. So I'm going to put them in the maybe pile and if they don't fit me, then I will donate them. This is another dress from a fast fashion website. Does not fit me very well. I have other black dresses that I prefer. So I'm gonna pass this one on. And then I have this black cardigan. I think I got this for Christmas last year. I have not worn it just because I forgot I owned it, but it has like these puffy sleeves, which I love. And it's really soft and warm and I love it. So I'm definitely gonna keep it. I just can't believe I haven't worn it yet. This is a Banana Republic sweater and it's a wool sweater. It's like a dark navy blue and I love it. And I stopped wearing it because it's starting to get little pieces of fuzz all over it. So I need to give it some tender love and care, some TLC. So I'm gonna put it in my salvage pile. I would like to keep it. I just need to clean it up a little bit before I start wearing it again. This is another workout top that I bought from, I think it's called Halara. And so I'm going to put it with my other top, again, only with the intention of wearing it while I work out. This is the same Amazon dress as the burgundy one that I talked about earlier, but in black. So I'm going to keep this one as well. This is another H&M top. It's a black silky top. It's got some lace detail on the front. It's got fluttery sleeves. Um, it's comfortable. It's a staple. I wear it pretty often. So I'm going to hold on to this. This is a sweater from my mom. It was a gift for Christmas a couple years back. It's a really soft and warm cashmere sweater. It's got a turtleneck. Truthfully, I don't feel like this is the best color for me, but I do really like this sweater. It's very comfortable and warm and I'm gonna keep it. And I think now that I'm back to something that's closer to my natural color and I don't have light blonde hair anymore, I think that this will fit me a lot better than it used to. This is actually a dress that I need to give back to my sister-in-law. This is, I talked about this on Instagram too. It's like the traveling sisterhood, what's it called? Sisterhood of the traveling pants, where one pair of jeans fits all four girls in the movie, even though they're all different sizes. 
And this is the same way. Um, it's a beautiful sequin dress that my sister-in-law originally wore for her bachelorette party, I think back in like 2014. And then uh, my friend Julie wore it in 2018 for her bachelorette. I wore it for mine in 2021 or 2020. I can't remember. I think it was 2021. And then later on, my best friend wore it for hers just a few months after I wore it in mine. And so I'm gonna, I guess I'll hold on to it and ask my sister-in-law if she wants to have it back in her possession. And we're, we're just gonna see how many people we can get to wear it for their bachelorette because it's such a fun but super comfortable dress. This is like a wrap dress that's like, it's kind of come apart at this point and it has a hole in it. And I tried it on recently to wear it to a wedding and I didn't like it at all on me anymore. I used to wear it all the time back when I worked at Ulta. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This is a sweater from Talbot's. I have two black ones and then I have a burgundy one. I'm gonna keep all of them. This is like my favorite sweater ever. It's just a plain crew neck. I wear it all the time, I love it. And then this is a sweater that I got as a Christmas present. It's very similar to the one I just showed you, but it has little cats on the back, on the elbows. I do like it and it's a really nice thick material too. So I'm gonna keep this. This is actually my mom's sweater. She let me borrow it recently. Since it's my mom's, I'm gonna give it back to her. I think there's also a pair of pants. Yeah, I've washed it and hung it up and I'm gonna give it back to her. This is a sweater from Old Navy that I love. The sleeves are kind of big, which I love. They're like a little billowy. And this color is really nice. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there are a lot of pills on it. Um, it's definitely worse for wear. I would like to clean it up and get rid of the pills and kind of bring it back to life. So I'm gonna put it in my salvage pile, but I definitely wanna keep that. This is a cardigan that I just recently purchased from Costco. It's just a plain cardigan. It's got some pockets at the bottom and I'll likely take it with me next time I go into the office and just keep it at my desk for whenever I get chilly and I wanna throw something on. And the reason I purchased that one is because I wanted to replace this one. I got this from Talbot's years ago and I did wear it for a long time, but I have realized that this type of red is not flattering on me. I don't enjoy wearing it. So I bought the burgundy one, which is a better color for me and I'm going to pass this one on. This is like a peplum top. I think I bought this from Kohl's forever ago and it's really soft and comfortable and I do like this color on me a lot. I do kind of want to keep it even though I don't know if peplum style tops are really in style anymore. No, I think I'm gonna pass it on. I've had it for mm, probably over a decade at this point. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> this is another cardigan that I got for Christmas last year and I didn't realize it at the time, but I know now that when I wear like stark white colors, they really wash me out. They don't look good on me at all. So even though this is relatively new, I am gonna pass it on. It's just not the right color for me at all. Now honestly, same with this top. I wore this in my first ever YouTube video back in 2017, and I have worn it a couple times since then in videos. And again, I just don't think this color is the best for me. And also over the years, it just has started to not fit me the same. It's getting a little bit tighter. So I am gonna pass this one on. This is a sweater from H&M and I love it. It's like that ribbed type of sweater. That's a little bit thinner. It has this really cute tie in the back. I do wear this pretty often. I love it, keeping it. Okay, this one is kind of tough. This is an H&M sweater and it's the perfect color like it's like a light tan cream color and it's super soft i love how big the sleeves are it's just so comfortable i wear it all the time i don't even know exactly if there's a way i could salvage it if i could i would so maybe i'll try to look that up and i'll put this in a salvage pile but i really should get rid of it it's falling apart so this is like a sheer cover-up type of product I wear this over bathing suits pretty often but i also just wear it as like kind of a cardigan during the summer, like if I'm wearing a tank top and shorts or I'm wearing a romper or something and I want something to still wear over my shoulders, I will wear this. And just like that black cover up I just talked about, I do have another one in white. It's kind of like an ivory and I love it. I love the poofy sleeves. I know I don't typically wear a ton of white. I just said multiple times that that color isn't very flattering on me, but this one being sheer and with the t color bathing suits that I wear it with, I do like it. And I mean, in the summer, I do have a little bit more of a tan, so white looks slightly better. So I'm gonna hold on to this one too. This is a dress that my aunt gave me, my Zia Tanya, and I get compliments on this every time I wear it. I'm not normally someone who wears these straight dresses. Um, this is like, I guess a little bit more mod, I guess would be the style, but I get compliments on it every time I wear it and I do really like this dress. It says it's from Zara and keep in mind my aunt lives in Italy, so it was probably 
purchased in Italy too. So I don't know if this is something that you could still get if you wanted to get something like it, but I really love it. I wear it all the time. This is like a basic white blouse that I wear to the office sometimes. It's really silky and soft and light and I love just like tucking it into whatever pants I'm wearing and then wearing a cardigan over it. It's not like the most exciting article of clothing. It's not like I feel amazing when I wear it, but it is like an office staple. It's something that I wear to work pretty often, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Very recently, I started getting into rompers and like two-piece sets, and this one, I normally don't go for like bright colorful patterns like this, but whenever I do have a tan, I think this looks really nice, so I'm gonna hold on to it. A couple more rompers like that. I know I said that that type of red I don't love on me, but I typically wear it with like a tan, cardigan or something and so I usually wear it with something covering my shoulders and I think that helps it look a lot better on me and like I said I wear these when I have a little bit more of a tan. Um, I just really love this romper. I got it from H&M forever ago and it's really cute. I wear it a lot in the summer so I am going to keep this one and I'm also going to keep this one too. I just like the floral pattern and again it kind of comes in at the waist and it's super comfortable, super flowy and I wear these types of rompers all the time in the summer. I have this cropped top here and I love the sleeves so much. I wear this to concerts a lot. I just love it. I love that it has this little tie and even though it's not it, it's not like my personal style all the time, I do love wearing it for certain occasions so I'm going to keep it. This is another flowy silky tank top. This is from Nine West. I love this burnt orange color. Definitely keeping this. And I also wore this top in a recent video too. I think it was in my five years of Sephora purchases. And this is a really nice soft top. I got it from Old Navy. Ideally, I would have liked to have gone up a size just to make it a little bit bigger and looser fitting, but I do like it. I like the color and I like wearing it during this time of year. This is a sweatshirt that my friend Hannah got for me. This was part of the gift she gave to her bridal party. And she, um, among other things, is a bee farmer. She has a bee farm. And so she um, got these little shirts made that say be kind on them and I love it. I wear this all the time. This is like a silky button-up blouse in black. It's very basic, but it fits me really well. I love it. I wear it all the time. Holding on to this one. Oh, and here's another one of that sweater that I was talking about. It's just like a basic crew neck sweater. Crew neck sweater from Talbots. Love it. Definitely keeping. I have a black belt. I really only have like two belts and they're the same belt. One in brown, one in black. I'm going to hold on to both of them. And then I have this top. This is also from Old Navy and it's a cream colored sweater and it's like a, a mock neck I think is what it's called where it comes up a little bit higher but it's not a full-on turtleneck and I love this sweater. I actually wear this a ton. It's a really great staple basic in my wardrobe. This was a gift from my parents for Christmas. I, they saw it at Costco and they thought of me because I do love warm, cozy types of articles of clothing like this. I recently put this on and I did not like how this looked on me. I was just swimming in it and it was almost too warm, if you can believe, and it just, I swam in it. Like it just didn't look good on me at all and it just made me feel really frumpy. <laughs> so I'm actually going to pass this on. It's, it's really in good condition. I haven't worn it more than the one time that I wore it and I think I might have it in another color so I might pass that one on too if I can find it and this is that other version of that really comfortable pullover thing that my parents gave me like I said I put it on and it was just wrong it just didn't look good <laughs> gonna pass that one on all right funny story about this top in particular this is a green top that I purchased. I don't remember where I got it from. I actually think it might have been from Amazon. And this is a beautiful top. It's got like flowy sleeves, which I love, and it's in a beautiful color. But whenever I, I put it on like a Christmas wish list, and my sister-in-law bought it for me, I think. But whenever I actually tried it on, I realized it was way too long. It was like down past my thighs, and I was never gonna wear it. And so what I did, wasn't the smartest decision, but I just kind of like cut it along the bottom. And of course that was not the right choice to make, but I still wear this because anytime I do wear it, I tuck it into pants. So you never see the bottom anyway. So I'm actually gonna keep it, even though it's absolutely worse for wear and I've butchered it, but it works for me perfectly and I love this top and I always get compliments whenever I wear it. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. This top here is from a friend of mine. She purchased it for herself 
it didn't end up fitting her the way she wanted it to, so she gave it to me. It's a bodysuit, and it has these really beautiful polka dot sleeves. I have worn this in a couple of videos, and I do like it. I actually had a top that was really similar to this that I ended up having to declutter because it didn't fit me. It was much too small, and so it is nice to have this, something like it, back in my wardrobe. I have another sheer coverall type of thing. This is a mauve color and I love this. I wear this with rompers all the time. I think this is beautiful. Definitely gonna hold on to it. And the last one I have like that is this peachy one with lace. And this is really pretty too. I don't wear it as much just because it's got like a very specific boho look and that's not really something I wear all the time, but I got this from Kohl's and I love the color. I love the fabric and the um, pattern, like the lace on it. I wear this to concerts a lot. Gonna hold on to this one as well. There is my other belt, the brown counterpart. And then I have two rompers here. One of them I love, it's this white and black striped one. This is so cute. I wear this all the time in the summer. I love it. I think it's so cute. I'm gonna definitely hold on to that. I wear it a lot with that mauve cover-up that I was talking about earlier. I wear those together a lot and I think it's such a cute outfit. The other one, however, it's this blue and white striped one. And this is nice. I like it because it's lined, so it's not see-through. And it is a really nice color, but it is a little bit long for me. And so I don't really wear it a ton. And yeah, I think I'm gonna pass this one on. Here is that last Talbot's sweater that I was talking about, a staple. And then this is a top I got from TJ Maxx. I really like this. Um, it's just a black checkered blouse. Has a really nice waist emphasis. I like the sleeve element, that little bit of like a fluff to it. What's this called? Ruffle? I don't know. I don't know what that's called, but I like it. <laughs> and this is just a really flattering type of top for me. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Another black tank top a staple. And then I have this. It's kind of like a boat neck. I think I also got this from H&M, but it's a black sweater and it's like a three-fourth, a quarter sleeve. And the boat neck detailing is really nice. I really like the fabric. And this is just a really great comfortable top that I wear all the time. I wear it to the office a lot too. I have a few more rompers here. This is a bathing suit. I really like this color on me. Definitely going to hold on to this one. And then I have a few rompers here. One of them I've had for a very, very long time and I am going to pass it on. I have other rompers that I like better than this one. And then the other one is a newer romper that I like a lot more. And so I'm going to keep this one. Okay. This is an H&M sweater and I really like how big the sleeves are and I, I like it. It's a plain black sweater, but the fabric is a little bit itchy. Like it's not a very soft fabric. And so I don't find myself wanting to wear this. And as you have seen so far, I have plenty of black tops. I don't need to hold on to this one anymore. This is one that I will have to get rid of at some point, but I'd like to keep it in my maybe pile so that I can potentially replace it. This is a navy blue, I think it's called like a peasant top. Um, I love the detail on the sleeve and it's got those poofy sleeves again that I love. It's a beautiful navy blue top. It's really soft and comfortable. The problem is the neckline is so weird and it always rides up. So like this part will just end up at my neck and I'm constantly having to pull it down. And it's not like it's the most flattering shape. Like it is a little bit big on me. And so I do swim in it a little bit. Plus it gets wrinkly quickly. So I am not gonna get rid of it just yet because I do want to find a better version of this somehow. But it's not something that I'm gonna hold on to forever. This is a basic gray zip up. I wear this like whenever I go running or when I go play tennis or something. So it's a very practical article of clothing and I'm gonna keep it. Same with this one. It's just a basic zip up. It's water resistant. I like the color blocking. I like the pop of blue and yeah, I wear it occasionally. I don't wear it all the time. I'm not like the most sporty athletic person, but I do reach for this pretty often. I have this really big, <laughs> It's very similar to what I'm wearing now, but it's in a light blue color. I actually like this a lot. I wear this pretty often. I know it looks big and lifeless, but I do reach for it pretty often. I like it, especially in the summer when I wanna wear a cute outfit, but I wanna bring something to cover my shoulders just so I don't get too much sun or burn on my shoulders. I can pull something like this out. So I reach for it pretty often. I know it's not like the cutest thing out there, but I love it. This sweater here, it's a cardigan that I purchased online. And when it came in, the color ended up looking like this and not anything like what I thought it would look like. 
And also the fabric isn't very soft, it's kind of scratchy. It's a horrible color for me. So I'm going to get rid of this. And then this is like a silk button up. I, I love this, I wear this all the time. I wear it just as like a silky blouse into the office. I love the color, I love the fabric. Definitely keeping this. This is another band tee. This is purity ring, definitely holding on to this one. I mentioned that olive tank top. I have the black version of it as well. Holding on to this, it's a staple. Another cardigan, I like to wear this in the office. I like the color and it's soft and comfortable. This is also from Talbots. Okay, this is a button up. I bought it from Chico's and the reason I bought it is because it's wrinkle resistant. I wanted to have a white button up to use in outfits, um, but I didn't have one and I wanted one that was comfortable but that wouldn't get wrinkly. And so I don't wear this all the time, but it is like a staple that I would like to hold on to just for future use. Like I do want to have, I want to create outfits in the future that use a butt white button up. I just don't have them like fully figured out yet. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna keep it more in the maybe pile because I might need a different type of white button up. This one is like kind of stiff. Maybe I wanna go for like a silkier, more comfortable one. I'm not sure. So this is going in the maybe pile. This one I'm a bit torn on. This is from H&M and this is a really comfortable, soft turtleneck. I love how big the sleeves are. The sleeves are humongous, the biggest sleeves I own. And it's just a soft, warm, comfortable sweater, but it is not flattering. Like it doesn't go with my body type. I swim in it, it takes over my entire body. So it's not flattering, it's not cute. I would still like to hold on to it though. I love, you know, some days, especially in Pennsylvania, like if you live in a really cold environment, you know what I mean? Some days you just wake up and you cannot put enough layers on. There is just no <laughs> warming up. And so this is what I use that for. It's more practical than it is fashionable, but I would like to hold on to it. This is another two piece, only the skirt is much longer. So the skirt is very long and high waisted. And then the top is like a crop top that you kind of tie in different ways to make it look different. So I'm gonna hold on to this. Actually, no, I'm not gonna hold on to this one because I have a very similar version of this in navy blue that I think looks a lot more flattering on me. And then this is that outfit in navy blue that I was talking about. I think this is just a much more flattering color type of story for me. I do have another burgundy two-piece set. This one also has um, really flowy high-waisted shorts. And then the top is very similar to that other two-piece set that I showed you where it's got floofy sleeves and it has a little tie that you can put around your waist. And this is a really cute outfit, um, one that I do wear again to like summer concerts and stuff. This is a sweater from Old Navy that I love. I wear it all the time. Another band tee, this time is Shaky Graves. I love it and I love when band tees have writing on the sleeves too. I really like that detail. Okay, we're in the last leg. We're almost done. I only have these pieces left to talk about back here. Really quickly though, I was looking back at all the clothes I'm keeping and I, I think I'm ready to pass on some of them. I know I said I really wanted to keep this but I do have that really comfortable black sweater that I mentioned that my mom gave me. I can wear that if I'm really that cold. This one just doesn't look good on me. It's not like I feel great about myself when I wear it, you know? So I'm not gonna keep that. And then this is a Talbot sweater. Even though I don't typically love red on me, this is a really nice sweater. I do like it a lot. And I'm gonna hold on to it. It does need a little bit of TLC though. There's some pill pilling on it. So I'm gonna put it in my salvage pile. This is a Tommy Hilfiger sweater. I love it, so comfortable. Definitely keeping. And then this one was a sweater that my mom gifted me and I like it, it's cute. I like the stripes. Gonna hold on to this. This dress here, I, I don't really love this type of light pink on me and it doesn't really fit me that well anymore so I'm gonna pass this one on. This is another Talbot sweater, super soft and nice. I think I accidentally shrunk it in the wash though. Like I don't think I took care of this correctly so I need to figure out a way to get it back to its regular size. I know that there are things you can do to sweaters when you've shrunk them on accident so I'm gonna try to salvage that one. This is a really cute cherry uh, one piece bathing suit and I love it but it does not fit me so I'm not going to hold on to it anymore. This is a sweater that I thrifted I think from Three Rivers Vintage in Pittsburgh in Southside and I love it. It's got Penn State on it, it's got Tasmanian the Tasmanian Devil on it. And I love this sweatshirt, I wear it all the time. So holding on to that. I have another romper here and it has a belt somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I'll have to find it. And I like this too. This is a really nice color for me, I think. And I love it. I love the little ruffles on the bottom too. 
cute. I have this silky tank top here. I think I bought it from Amazon last year and I love this color. I think this is such a beautiful color. I love the fabric and I love wearing this under like sweaters, um, under cardigans and like with high-waisted pants. I think it's so cute. This one I also got from Amazon. So my friend Kaylee wore this dress to our wedding last year and it looked so amazing on her and the color was awesome and she was like yeah you can totally get one for yourself i got it from amazon so um i bought it and i love it and i just felt so fancy and cool and beautiful and it's silky and soft and i love the color of it too that burnt orange is just so unique and then this last one is a dress i love this i got the, this from macy's um a couple years ago and i wear this to weddings a lot i just think it's a really nice summer dress getting rid of a lot of things but I still have a lot left. I would like to further curate this over time but I think that's something that I'm gonna have to do when I bring in new pieces that can kind of replace some of these pieces that I have, either updating the color or the cut or the style or just changing something about it that makes me much more likely to wear it and enjoy it. I am gonna go through my drawers next but I'm gonna try to be a lot faster about it because this has already taken way longer than I thought it would. I'm starting to lose steam and my batteries are dying and I would just like to fast forward through these drawers. This top drawer is just like underwear and socks and bras and stuff so I don't need to go through that. But this next drawer is pants. I have a lot of the same pants that I get from Costco. So those ones I'm going to hold on to. I also have leggings that I got from Costco. Gonna hold on to those. A pair of jogger pants from Target. Costco slacks. Costco slacks. A pair of slacks but in gray, another pair of slacks but like in a plaid in like a slightly different type of pattern. Um, these black skinny jeans don't really fit me anymore, I can pass these on. Another pair of jeans um, that fits me a little bit better, I'm going to hold on to these. These are from Old Navy. Costco slacks, one pair of jean shorts. And then this is an old swimsuit top that doesn't fit me anymore. And then a pair of leggings that I will keep. Or these are tights, sorry. Down here, these are all of my pajamas and like things that I wear around the house. I'm just going to quickly go through these. These Some of these I've had for years. Some of them I still wear and I've had them since high school. So not really going to go into too much detail about these. Yeah, I pretty much wear the majority of these on a regular basis when I'm just around the house. So I got rid of like four or five things from here, but everything else is staying. I do have quite a few pieces of clothing that are in the maybe pile that I would like to eventually replace or um, pieces that I would like to create outfits for. Like it's a piece that I'm inspired by, but I haven't really worn it yet because I don't know how to put it into an outfit yet. So I would like to create some content around that where I'm working through creating outfits or maybe showing you like my favorite outfits that I've worn over a certain period of time. I'm not going to do a ton of fashion related or clothing related content because I am a makeup channel and I don't really know a ton about fashion but it is something that I would like to take more seriously and be more intentional about having like a curated wardrobe. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much if you stuck around this, <laughs> this long all the way to the end. But I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.